So if you're like me, uh, we live in a home of lots of food restrictions. Um, we are um, gluten-free, we are dairy-free, sugar-free, um, nightshade-free. <laughs> so it, we're just eating in our house um, can definitely be a challenge. And so what I have learned to do over the years is I look for ways to take any ordinary recipe and make it keto friendly, paleo friendly, um, the whole deal. Um, so I just wanted to share with you um, one of my favorite things to cook that hits the mark on everything with our family. And it is um, air fried coconut chip strips. Um, and so they're so good. Everybody in my house likes them. Um, we enjoy them so much. So I just started here with about two pounds. Um, let me adjust this a little. About two pounds of chicken strips, just chicken tenders. They were already like pre-cut chicken tenders. And I just seasoned them up with your typical um, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic salt, um, garlic powder, things like that, and then just stir them all together. And then in here I have, I'm gonna sprinkle out my, um, this is coconut flour that I have here. Um, it, it is just so good. We use coconut flour for a lot of things, but I particularly love it when I am air frying chicken tenders, they're so good. So to this, I'm gonna add um, some garlic salt. So I want it to have lots of flavor. Onion powder. Um, pepper. And um, I'm going to add just a little bit more of just regular salt. Not too much since we added the garlic salt. I'm just going to kind of mix this together here. And then in my bulk here, I have coconut milk. It's organic coconut milk um, to drip for my dredge. Um, so what I'm gonna just do is I take it, um, I dredge it in the coconut flour, knock off the excess, and I dredge it through the coconut milk. And then I double batter mine because it makes it extra crispy. So I'm gonna dredge it through the coconut flour. Again, coating it really good. Um, and then I shake off the excess and I'll just put it over here on my plate for now. Um, I have my air fryer preheating right now while I do this. I have it preheating I put it on 400 and so I'm just going to let that preheat while I batter up my chicken. So again, in the flour, put it in the coconut milk and then back into the flour again, coating it really well because I don't want any piece not coated. And then shake off the excess, put it on the plate. Um, and then I'll do that until I have them all done. And then I will stick them in the air fryer. Um, for about 15 minutes, you may have to turn it um, halfway through. Yours may not take as long as mine. Then they will come out yummy and golden.